Hi everybody, Andrea Majeski here with Dental L. So I was talking to a patient just the other day and she made a very good point. So I find there's something that us as dental hygienists aren't doing all the time that we need to do. So something that we're probably forgetting about. It's not that we don't want to do it, but we might just not think of it or we just don't have time, okay? Time is not on our side when you work in a dental office. But my patient said to me, you know, she was she's one of those patients that wants to do whatever she can to keep her teeth. She's in her 60s, she does an, an, an excellent job like she does a great job she comes in every three months but she always feels like she could be doing something more and what she said to me was you know I like coming here I like coming here but it is a miracle that I did start to see a dentist again because back 10 years ago I had a bad experience and I said oh you know like what happened and she said well I was I was seeing a dentist where he was the one who cleaned the teeth and then he did um, hire a dental hygienist and oh no sorry she had said that she was getting ortho so this was actually more than 10 years ago I think she said she was in her 30s or 40s when she got or, um, ortho um, so she went to a dental office where the dentist cleaned the teeth and then she went to the orthodontist office obviously for her braces and she got her teeth cleaned there and I guess she said that the dental hygienist was quite rude to her, saying things to her like, you have a lot of plaque, you have a lot of tartar, this looks really, really bad. And then like she would be in there cleaning away. And my patient said, and I didn't appreciate that because here I am going to see my dentist for cleanings every three months. He didn't say anything that I wasn't doing a good job. I didn't know. Um, he didn't clean the teeth like that. So I thought I was doing a good job. And then here this dental hygienist is pretty much yelling at me. I felt insulted. And she had said to her dental hygienist, she said, well, what can I do? I've been seeing this dentist for three months. This is the first I've heard that I've been doing a bad job. I don't appreciate you yelling at me. How about you tell me how to fix it? Show me how to brush my teeth properly. Show me what I need to be doing because obviously I'm not doing it. And she made a good point. You know, we need to stop sometimes and think that maybe the patient is is doing what they feel is right. Maybe they haven't been shown how to, how, how to brush. Maybe they haven't been shown how to properly floss. We need to do that first instead of yelling at them. Now, I'm not saying we all do that. And I'm not saying that we need to show every single patient now how to brush and how to floss because some of them might say to you, listen, lady, I know what I'm doing. Don't show me, you know, who knows, right? But for those patients who who do tell you, oh, well, I brush twice a day, I floss every day, you're telling me I'm, it still doesn't look so good, then take it a step further and say to them, well, you know what, we haven't shown you actually how to brush in a while, if, if not at all. So how about we take 10 minutes and let me show you. They would really appreciate it, even in school. When I remembered, we had to show every patient how to brush, how to floss, all of that stuff, right? But some of the patients actually said, wow, I've never been shown this. Thank you so much. So they do appreciate it. So as dental hygienists, we need to stop sometimes and we need to think about the patients. You know, maybe they are doing everything that they possibly can. I know I am guilty of that, okay? I'm always behind. I don't know what it is, but I'm always behind. I'm as organized as possible, but I tend to always be behind for my patients. I think it's because I like to talk. So I like to talk about their oral health. I see if they have questions, so I kind of take it that extra step, but I'm, I'm always behind. So even if I wanted to show somebody how to do that, I might not think about it because I'm like 10 minutes behind and I have to hurry up, right? So I think that's something that we need to start to do. So let me know your thoughts on this. And is this something that you are doing now? Because if you are, that's amazing. Keep on doing it. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to comment so I know what you guys are thinking and the types of videos that you want to see. And make sure to hit subscribe because I do upload videos often. And as you guys know, I have started my own Dental L um, mobile business where I am now cleaning um, a patient's teeth in their um, homes, offices and nursing homes. So I will keep you guys posted on that. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.